Hello and good morning. Welcome to another vlog. My dog is very whiny this morning. Um, but if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Jemmy and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, it is going to be my book shopping vlog with my friend. So originally this was going to be in my staycation vlog, but I kind of wanted to dedicate a video for it on its own because I just wanted to. And as well as I feel like this is going to be a very long video and adding it to the staycation vlog is going to make it really, really long. So I decided it's going to be a separate video on its own and I'm super excited. It is currently right now, if I can get my Fitbit on, uh, Fit I almost say 52. It is 5.52. I have to leave in about 8 minutes to head to my sister's. I'm super excited. I am going to be bringing a couple books with me to read. So I have my ebook, Ink Blood Sister Scribe. This one I talk about in my staycation. So if you're interested in my thoughts and opinions of that, uh, go check out the staycation vlog. And I am also currently reading Take Me Home by Morgan Matson. This is also for a, another vlog. But yeah, so I'm going to finish up getting ready and then I'm going to head out. I got to my sister's place. Here she is. She's upset because it's way too early. So yeah. But she loves her uh, Kirby Nano vlogs. I and, know. And Kirby Oh my god, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm here safely. We're now waiting for our other friend to arrive. And then we will set out and head over to our friend's place to carpool all together. So, yeah. We are fire, we are met. Alrighty, we're on our way to Denny's. My friend Pedro's here. <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh, hey, hey, you a pink dollar. Singing in her 80s. But we're gonna go to Denny's and meet our other friend, Yes. So, <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're blind boxes. No. It's by me. I swear, Kelly. It's Wait. Gonna be, it's gonna be sauce cake. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's cute though. I like it. I know they're little kitties. Why, why is the tail separate? It's you know. It's buildable. Hey, you said you didn't want. It's sauce more cake. accurate. <laughs> you didn't want sauce cake, but you got his wife. His wife. <laughs> Is she even? Super excited to see what he gets. Please. Yes! Nice! Which is that one? It's, um... Wait, was it even on the box? It's oh, a Shikamaru. Yeah. Oh, dude! That's So I'm back from hanging out with my friends and book shopping. Honestly, it was an amazing time. I had such a good time. If you hear that, that is my dog. He is whining. He can't get into the room right now because all the books are blocking his way. So he's a little bit upset. But I had such a good time. We were laughing so hard. And the reason for that is this picture right here. I had to screenshot it. 
my friend, he discovered that on Samsung you can make little stickers. And so he was doing it and oh my god, we were dying in the car. And we just could not breathe. It's hilarious. We had such a good time. Um, and yeah, but I'm going to be now showing you guys all the books that I got on today's book shopping adventure. And it's quite a lot. So this is going to be a very long book haul. I'm not going to lie. And I know I could wait to do it in the morning, but I work tomorrow morning. And honestly, I want to do it right now so that way I could find a place for all these books. And I don't think I'm going to be able to find a place for them. So they're probably going to be stacked up along this wall over here until I get another bookshelf or we move to somewhere bigger. So yeah, but let me show you how many bags I have. I didn't get just one bag. I didn't get just two bags. I didn't just get three bags. I got four. I have so many books. I have no room here at all. So I'm going to get situated. Alrighty. So now that I have a spot, I'm going to pick one bag to start with. So I'm going to pick this one right here. Ugh. So my friend actually had these books. She got it in a mystery bag and she didn't want them so she gave it to me and they are actually two Colleen Hoover books so I got Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. I read this and I remember liking it but I don't think I'm going to like it now so I feel like rereading this and determining if I do like it and we'll see. And then the other one is Verity by Colleen Hoover. I heard some good things about this book um, but I heard not so good things about the author so there's that um but she didn't want them so she put it in my bag and gave them to me so I will give it a try I know the author is problematic I know I know um but I might as well read it and see if it's good and then I don't even know where to start so the first one I got is Agatha Christie and then there were none I decided to get this one because I literally on my bookshelf do not have the word there in it and I needed a book for the Buzz Wordathon um, word for the month, and there was the word, and I had, don't have any books with it, so I decided to get this one because I've heard really, really good things about this, and I've never read it, so I got it. Also, I'm not gonna get into the description of all these books because there's way too many, and this would be way too long. And then let's see, the next two books I have is within a series together and it is the Rebel Bell series, right? Rebel Bell, right? Is that what the series is called? Yes, Rebel Bell. So I think the second book is Miss Mayhem and the third is Lady Renegades. Um, I heard the first book is really good and then the rest of the series kind of flop, but I love these covers and I'm going to read the series anyways. So I decided to get them and they were literally under a dollar. So might as well get them. And then um, the next books I got is also part of a series. I don't know if it's a duology or if it's a series, but I got Nocturna and Oclota. I don't know if I said that right. And these are by Maya Mont... Mont I suck at pronouncing authors' names. So these two and I think this one's the first and this one's the second alrighty so then the next books I got I'm just gonna kind of grab them so it is love life and the list by Casey West I've already read this I just wanted on my bookshelf so I got it then I got listen to your heart by Casey West I've also already read this I just wanted on my bookshelf. Then I also got Lucky in Love by Casey West. Again, I've already read this, so I want it on my shelf. I love Casey West's books. They're so fun and so easy to read, so I decided to pick them up and add it to my bookshelf because I just love her as an author. And then the next one is Fame, Fate, and First Kiss, again by Casey West. Already read this one, wanted it on my bookshelf. And then lastly, I got Maybe This Time by Casey West. I actually have not read this one, but I decided to pick it up anyways because I liked all of Casey West's other books. So I felt like I'm gonna like this one. So I got it. So let's jump into this one. This one is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I have already read this. I enjoyed it. Wanted it on my bookshelf. Most of these are books I have read or am interested in reading. Um, so yeah, 
but I decided to get the ones that I don't have on my shelf and I have already read so yeah because they're cheap might as well and then the next ones I got is Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills and First and Zen by Emma Mills I have another Emma Mills book somewhere on my shelf uh, This Adventure Ends by her and I haven't read any of her books but I have a feeling I would like her writing and as well as my husband likes magical realism anyways I got these I have to like find spaces to put them because like it's such a tight space right here and then I got another series and that is the golden pacific pacific specific wow words and the crimson skew by S. E. Grove. I saw for a while that these were really popular so I wanted to pick it up and see if I'm gonna like it. I do need the first one which is the glass sentence. I don't know I think this was the second second and this one's the third. Also I'm sorry this is all over the place because it's like really really tight here with all these bags because they are all full. Um and then the next series that I got that I can't believe I got for so cheap is This Savage Song and Our Dark Duet by Victoria Sh Swab Schwab. I can never pronounce her last name right. I seriously. I heard so many good things about the series and I wanted to get them but they were really expensive and I was on a tight budget at the time so saw these had to get them and then I got the graveyard book by Neil Gaiman my husband loves Neil Gaiman so I saw this I decided to pick it up because he likes him so I got this and the last book in that bag is the Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter this is the last book to the Raven cycle series and Actually, this is the last book I needed to read to finish the series off. They didn't have the rest of the series, so I decided to just grab this and then go and hopefully get the other two that I need. I do have the first book, I just need the second and the third. But I now have this one in my hands. I can continue on and finish the series this year. I'm super excited because I absolutely love the third book. The third book was so good. I cannot wait to jump into this and see what happens okay I'm gonna move this out of the way okay now I have a little bit more room let's go through these ones so I got demon gods and magicians Percy and Annabeth meets the canes by Rick Ryden I was missing these to complete kind of like my Rick Ryden set because I couldn't justify paying like 15 bucks for a very small book so when I saw this there I picked it up it's a little bit beat up but that's okay I'm okay with it you know not too bad I'm super excited so yeah and then the next two I got is also more of the same this one is Camp Jupiter classified um, also by Rick Riordan and then this one is Hotel Valhalla Guide to the Norse World so I got these and my dog is whining because he can't get to me. Tigger, what is it? What? Yeah. Do you guys hear him? He's so upset right now. <laughs> um, so I do apologize if you hear that in the background. Um <laughs> He's so whiny right now. Anyways, um, so moving on, I got Night of Cakes, Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor. I read her um, Daughter of Smoke and Bones and loved it. And this cover is so cute. I don't know if this is part of a series. Oh, it is a companion to Daughter of Smoke and Bones. Nice. I have to finish that series. And then read this. What, buddy? What? Come here. Okay, let me move this. Come on. Come here. Come here. Hi, sweetie. Hello. Hi. Are you upset? Yeah. He just wants attention right now. <laughs> Yeah, are you happy? Are you happy now? <laughs> oh! Gross. That is absolutely gross. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna chill here for a bit. Sir. Yeah, that's what I thought. There isn't a lot of room. 
hope you guys enjoyed that little intermission. Continuing on, um, I got Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, I think so. I have the paperback version of this, but I have the hardback for the rest of the series. So I saw it for literally under a dollar. Had to get it. Then I got Wild Beauty by Anne-Marie McLemore, I think. I could be wrong. But this book was so popular a while back. I don't remember when, but I wanted to get it because the cover is absolutely beautiful. Do I know anything about it? No. Then the next book I got is Sword and a Pen by Rachel Kane. I don't know if this is the sequel or the third to the series. I have the first book right here, Ink and Bone. So I wanted to grab the series. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if this is the first or... I mean, not the first, or the second or the third. I don't know, but I grabbed it because I know it's part of the series. I also now have my dog's hair up my nose. Ugh, he is shedding like crazy. And I just have like a loose piece now on my nose. So, sorry about that. Then the next two books I got is also in a series together. And I don't know if this is a trilogy or a duology. I really need to look these up. But I got Dread Nation and Deathless Divide. Yes, and this is by Justina Ireland. So, there's these. Also, I do apologize for the lighting of my room. I have no idea where my ring light is. So, this is the lighting we're getting. Then the next book I got is Elsewhere by Gabriella Zevin. This is my very first book that I remember reading that got me into reading. So, I had to get one myself because I love this book. I don't know what about it, but I love it. And rereading it always makes me so happy and fuzzy inside, even though it's a very sad book. Um, it's kind of sad, but heartwarming at the same time. Then the next book I got, I am so excited that it was there, but I'm sad they didn't have the whole series. But they had the third book, and that is Gods and Monsters by Shelby. Again, I will never be able to pronounce her last name no matter how much I try. I just am really bad at pronunciation, so there's that, but I'm super excited. I was reading Blood and Honey, but I had to return it to the library book, and I was in a big reading slump, and I didn't want to force myself to read it, so I returned it, so I kind of soft enoughed it, so I'm going to go back and check it out when I'm more in a reading mood, especially a fantasy reading mood, because now I own the third. So once I finish that one, I can jump into this one. I'm super excited for that. You know, because I seem excited for everything, but I truly am. The next three books are in a series together, and that is The Ember in the Ashes, A Sky Beyond Storm, and A Reaper at the Gates. I am missing one of them, and I think it's Torch Against the Night, right? I think so. That is the second one. This one's the fourth, this one is the third, and then this one is the first. They didn't have the first one in these covers, but I saw this one, so I grabbed it. Then I got The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. I also got The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I am so shocked that that one was, th not that one, this one was there. So shocked. And then I got The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. I have been wanting to get into Brandon Sanderson, so saw this there, grabbed it. They didn't have a lot of Brandon Sanderson. I was hoping they would have a lot more, but honestly, the place was like picked over, which I'm not surprised because, you know, a lot of people were excited. Uh, and then I got Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. This one is the collector's first edition. I didn't even know that. This is the first in her series. I don't remember what this series is. Have I finished the Shadow Hunters? No. Have I finished the Infernal Devices? No. Did I pick this up just to pick it up? Yes, because why not? And then the last book in this bag is The Midnight Lie by Marie Rakowski. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think I have this book, but I'm not sure if I did or did not. So I picked it up anyways because if I did, cool, I'll have two. If I didn't, then yes. I love Marie Rich R Oh my god, I cannot pronounce her last name. But I love her series, The Winner Trilogy. Absolutely love that series. Was one of my favorite series of all time. And so anything she writes, I want to read. So yeah. So second bag is done. So let me throw it out of 
the way. And on to the third and final bag. Ooh, my legs are going numb from sitting so long. And this is already 20 minutes long. That's crazy. And I am barely getting through this. The first book I got is A Crown of Wishes by Roshni Chakshi. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, I think this one is a series? Maybe a standalone? I have no idea. Like I said, I grabbed the ones that I knew I was interested in, but like I don't really knew much about, so yeah. Anyways, I'm running out of space to place the books. Uh, let's see. The next one I got is Strange the Dreamer by Libra not Libra Bray, um, Lainey Taylor. I think I already have this one, but I saw it, so I grabbed it just in case I didn't. Like I said, I grabbed a few things that I think I already had, but I wasn't sure, so I'd rather just grab it just in case. They were very cheap. I couldn't pass it up. And then I grabbed We Free the Stars by, I'm not gonna even attempt to pronounce that author's name because I know for sure I'm going to F it up. Do I know anything about this? No. Do I know this is the first book? No. But I saw that it had a lot of reviews and a few authors that I have read books from. So, uh, like, raved about it. So, yeah. Had to pick it up. Then I got King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. Uh, but yeah, so got this one. Then I got The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley, I believe. I don't know if this is like a series or whatnot, but picked it up because I've heard good things about it. And then I got the Diviner series. I got The King of Crows and Lair of Dreams by Libra Bray. I'm now missing the first and third book, but I had to pick it up because I knew I was going to get these anyways. I know the covers don't match, but that's okay with me. You know, they were very cheap. I had to get them. Then I got another series, and that is Now I Rise and Bright We Burn by Kristen White. I actually have the first book somewhere on my shelf. I have no idea where it is. I do have and I darken. So yeah, I just need to find it. But I know I have it somewhere. I'm just don't know where. And then I got Reckless Girls by uh Rachel Hawkins Hawkins. Oh my god, I am just, I'm having, I'm a, I'm a struggle, I'm a struggling, um, so yeah, got this one, I think it's a mystery book, I'm trying to get into more mysteries, so that's why I picked up a few, and then I got The Star Touch Queen by Rashi Chakshi, I, I, where's that other book I had, is this, this, is this with that other one, I think so, they might be in a series together, again, I have to look some of these up, because I've heard people talk about them, and so I grabbed them because of it. So was I easily influenced? 100%. And then the next one I got is a continuation to another series that I have, which I don't know where the book is for. And that is 13 Rising and Black Moon. I believe this one is the third and this one is the last. I believe so. I'm not 100% sure. I'm missing the second one, which is Wandering Star. So... Yeah, saw these, had to get them because I love Zodiac things, so I had to get the book that's regarding Zodiacs. Have I read Zodiac Academy? No. They didn't have those there, unfortunately. I was very sad. And then I got Empire of Dust. I think this is the second book to Blood of Gods and Royals. So, that one. I actually have the first book somewhere here. I just cracked my back right here. I also got this one from a library book sale as well. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna put this back. And then the last book I got at that bookstore was the a Surprise of a Lifetime because this is a fairly new book that just recently literally just came out and I can't believe that it was there for under a dollar. And that is Murtag by Christopher Paolini. I can't believe this was there. I had to pick it up. Oh my god. I was so shocked. I couldn't believe that I got this. And like I said, this is a fairly new book. So shock horror when I saw it there. I was like, oh my god. What the hell? But yeah. 
So I'm super excited. And that is the last book in this bag. So toss it over there. And then last but not least, I went to Barnes & Nobles to pick up a couple of books that I wanted to pick up because they didn't have it at that warehouse bookstore sale. So I picked it up because Barnes & Noble was doing a 50% hardback book sale again. So I had to pick it up. So the first one I got is Immortal Longing by Chloe Gong. I picked this up from the library and read a couple pages. I was very interested in it, but I had to return it because I just didn't have the time to read it and I couldn't keep holding on to it. So I decided to pick one up myself for 50% off. Then the next book I picked up is In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune. This I have already read from the library. I enjoyed it. It wasn't like my favorite of all time. But I wanted to add it to my shelf because I did enjoy it. I did like it. And I think my husband would enjoy reading this. And then the next one is Wolf Song by TJ Klune. This is also another 50% off. And I got it. I have to fix the cover. It's kind of like really, really, really loose for some odd reason. And I don't know why. And it's folded all weird too. So I might have to refold this. But I got this because I keep seeing it and it looks interesting. And I already read two TJ Klune books and loved them well besides this one I thought it was all right but I loved the second one I read it was one of my favorite books of last year so I wanted to give this series a try it looks very interesting and finally the last book in this big book haul that I can't believe I have so many in front of me is Dark Star Burning Ash Falls White by again I'm not gonna try to pronounce this author's name but I have the special edition of the first book and this one it was so pretty and then when I open the cover oh my god look at that it is so pretty this one was not on sale this was the only one I bought for full price so in total I got 56 books that is so much. And the amount that I calculated was a total that I spent was $67. Roughly $68. Rounded up to $68. That's quite impressive because I'm going to tell you, this one alone is, I want to say like $35. Oh, not $35. $30. $30. And I got it for less than a dollar. I'm so shocked. This was fantastic. I enjoyed everything about this. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, book shopping and book haul. It is quite a lot. I know it is a bit all over the place because I was just telling you and rambling on. So, yeah. Actually, I miscounted. I have 57. I missed one right over there. 57 books. Wow. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Now I gotta find a place for all these books. I have so many. Like, look at this. It's all just down here. There is so many right here. And I am in my happy place. I'm so happy. You have no idea. But anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, feel free to like the video. And if you guys want to see more content from me, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.